हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ आई एम लोगोस जोगी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस इन एग्रीकल्चर सीड सेंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेशलाइजेशन सीड सेंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एच एन बी जो सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी श्रीनगर उत्तराखंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई हैव गोट फिफ्टी टू रैंक इन पी एच डी प्रोग्राम सीड सेंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर आई सी आर आई कार ऑल इंडिया एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन फॉर वर्ल्ड एडमिशन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट द टॉपिक सीड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कॉल वेजिटेबल्स कॉलीफ्लावर क्लाइमेटिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स कॉलीफ्लावर रिक्वायर ए कूल मोइस्ट क्लाइमेट फॉर सीड प्रोडक्शन द ऑप्टिमम मंथली एवरेज टेम्परेचर इज फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस द ईयरली वेराइटीज हाउ एवर रिक्वायर हाई टेम्परेचर एंड लॉन्गर डे लेंथ इट इज लेस टोलरेंट टू एक्सट्रीम एक्सट्रीम हाई आर लो टेम्परेचर्स आर स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड्स इट इज ऑल्सो सस्पेटिवल टू कोल्ड इंजरी आफ्टर द कर्ड्स हैव एपियर्ड एसेस यू रेंस एंड स्नोफॉल आफ्टर कर्ड फॉर्मेशन कैजेज रोटिंग इज इन कर्ड्स periods of low temperature are not essential but cool conditions are required therefore these conditions must be given due considerations in selecting suitable areas for seed production in india the seed production of yearly and mid seasons varieties can be done in the plains however the seed of late varieties can be only produced in temperate regions of the country lately himachal pradesh has emerged as the major producer of quality cauliflower seed of late varieties land requirements land to be used for seed production shall be free of volunteer plants the soil of selected fields should be deep fertile well supplied with organic matter with a ph value 5.5 the field should be well drained isolation requirements cauliflower is a minorly cross pollinated pollination is minorly done by bees the seed field must be separated from fields on other varieties fields of the same variety not conforming to variety varietal purity requirements of certification and from all other kinds of cold crops at least by 1600 meters for foundation seed class and uh, by 1000 meter of certified seed class method of seed production there are two method of seed production first in situ method seed to seed method second transplanting method head to seed method for seed production seed to seed method is recommended since the head to see head to seed method in india has not been very successful in seed to seed method in situ method the crop is allowed to overwinter and produce seed in the original positions where they are first planted in the seedlings stage brief culture practices for in situ method of cauliflower seed production main season and late variety seed production in hills first time of sowing and transplanting in the hills of sowing time of cauliflower should be so adjusted that the plants put up a maximum leafly growth by the 15th of december when the temperature goes down the and the plant become almost dormant the last week of august is the optimum sowing time for the crop the seed is sowing in a nursery transplanting of seed seedlings should be completed by the end of september the mean temperature of 6.5 to 11 degree celsius during february to march is very conductive to curd formation which is completed by the first four night of march yearly sowing in june to july result in curd formation during october to november the curds being very susceptible to cold injury rot during winter and hence swell to flower and following summer if sown late the crop starts 
curd formation let in the spring and uh, consequently flowering is uh, delayed it start when the temperature is high and humidity is low with the results that pollinations and sitting of seeds is not normal second methods of sowing in nursery seed may be sown on raised nursery beds 15 to 20 cm high from the ground in row rows 5 cm apart cover the seeds with fine leaf mud and water and water with a sprinkler 25 nursery beds of 2 to 20 to 2.5 meter sorry long and 1 to 1.25 meter wide will raise you know seedlings to plant 1 hectare a spray of 4 to 5 handfuls of ammonium sulfate or cn calcium ammonium nitrate dissolved in a 30 to 35 liter of water at 10 to 15 days after germination will be helpful in producing healthy and vigorous seedlings wash out the fertilizer immediately by spraying simple water thin sowing should be done to avoid dumping of disease three source of seed often nucleus or weeders or foundation seed from source approved by a seed certification agency for seed rate main season and late varieties 300 to 75 to 400 grams seed per hectare five preparation of land for transplanting the field should be prepared to fine till by deep plowing 3 to 4 harrowings followed by leveling six fertilization the cauliflower seed crop require heavy manuring as it is remove large quantities of major nutrients from the soil for best result apply 50 to 60 ton of farmyard manure at the time of land preparations normally 25 to 30 tons of farmyard manure is applied for hectare due to limited availability of farmyard manure in his apply 200 to 300 kg super phosphate and 100 kg potassium sulfate so simply before transplanting top dress in two doses 100 to 150 kg ammonium sulfate or calcium ammonium nitrate during growing periods one application during october to november another in february to march is essential still higher doses of nitrogen may be applied if demand necessary a cauliflower crop often so boron and molybdenum deficiency symptoms when growing either on an alkaline or highly acidic soils in such cases 10 to 15 kg of borax per hectare may be applied to the soil or to spray with 0.3% borax applied one on the seedling may correct the boron deficiency molybdenum deficiency symptoms occur in highly acidic soils and can be corrected by leaving our applications are about 1 to 1.5 kg hectare of sodium molybdenate molybdenate spring of 150 ppm ethyl at the time of the emergence of flowering stalks increase seed yield seven transplanting transplant the seedlings when 12 to 15 cm long preferably at evening time and irrigate immediately after wards at spacing row to row 60 to 90 cm plant to plant 45 to 60 cm nine irrigation irrigate the field according to the soil requirements and climatic conditions a crop after transplanting may be need irrigation stress a week a later once a week 
at uh, later stage irrigation may be given if there is a long gap between rains uh, adequate moisture supply during flowering and seed maturations are necessary to obtain high yields then interculture frequent shallow cultivations uh, should be given the soil to kill weeds and provide soil mulch it earthing up to plants four to five week after transplanting is highly desirable living insect pest complex of seed coal flower and the management indiscriminate use of insecticide against insect pest of seed coal flower during flowering serious seriously affects the insect pollinators resulting in lower seed yields due to decreased population and activity of these pollinators it is therefore essential to avoid indiscriminate use of insecticide it has been observed that a single soil application of granulated forest dimethate or di sulfaton at 19 kg per hectare during yearly fervy factly suppressed cabbage aphid infestations for 6 to 8 weeks a four spray scheduled with methyl dimethoin and methyl parathion methyl dimethoin plus quinyl phosphate quinyl phosphate and uh, indosulfan at uh, 21 days interval starting from mid february has also been found effective uh, for controlling hedge insect pest complex as a whole and uh, dhaliwal 1977 Researchers indicate that a pro pre bloom spray of 0.025 per cent methyl dimethoin plus 0.1 per cent and DDT applied just before flowering takes good uh, care of the seeking and uh, chaving beds with uh, out interfering with the insect pollinations population and activity and cauliflower bloom. Researcher further indicate that a bloom stage application of insecticide is necessitated on seed coal flower neem oil should be mixed with this sprays to keep away honey bee and possibly other pollinators and thus avoid their knockdowns mortality bala and dhaliwals 1977 Twelve disease control dumping of thin sowing in nursery may avoid the attack. Drench nursery with one fifty gram of captan in one hundred liter of water to cover two thousand square meter area before sowing. Thirteen scooping scooping the central portion of curd when it is fully formed helps in the yearly emergence of the flower stalks. early variety seed production in plants most of the cultural practices for seed production of early varieties in the plants are the same except for the time of sowing june to august it variety it, it so it varies with the varieties and little closer spacing 60 multiply 45 cm in addition the scooping is normally not required roging selection of cards is done when the cards are well developed of type plants and those forming poor cards should be removed at this stage subsequent roging for of types and diseased plants affected by black legs black rot leaf spot and floridy 
should be done from time to time as required harvesting and threshing harvesting can be done when pods brown to ripe pods dense seeds should not cuts or split when rubbed between the hands the harvesting may be done into lots generally the yearly plants are harvested first when about 60 to 70 percent of the pods turns brown and the rest of the crop change to yellowish brown after harvesting it is peeled up for cutting after 4 to 5 days it is formed upside down and allowed to the car for another 4 to 5 days in the same way it is then threshed with sticks and sifted with hand sifters after throw drying of seeds in the sun 7% moisture content it is cleared and stored seed yields average seed yields varies from 250 to 400 kg per acre thanks